This is one of nine RAF mountain rescue units situated at strategic points throughout the country. The advance party, on call at any time, sets out to rescue anyone, airman or civilian, who finds himself in need of attention in Britain's lonely mountain areas. The main party follows. Based on airfields in the vicinity, these units are manned entirely by volunteers. Officers and men do routine RAF work during the week and put in rigorous training at weekends for this highly specialised work. Ambulance, stretcher bearers and wireless van are the basis of the main party and the radio is soon ready to receive messages from the advance party whose object is to get their jeep as far up the mountainside as possible. The personnel here are medical officer, walkie-talkie operator, navigator and driver. From then on, the team sets off on foot, often over rugged, dangerous country. In this case, the slopes of Penivan in the Brecknock Beacons and highest point in South Wales. It's a skilled business with nothing hit or miss about it. Britain may be small, but there are plenty of bleak, lonely places where a crashed aircraft crew or lost civilian could starve to death or die of injuries if facilities such as these were not available for rapid aid. Well, they've made it. Now for a good look round. And there he is. The search is over. It's time for action. Immediate job is to establish contact with the main party by radio. A very pistol helps to give a quick guide to position. Flight Lieutenant Hughes, medical officer, makes all speed to render first aid to the victim. It looks like a broken leg, and that could be pretty serious in this kind of country. But the main party is on its way with equipment specially designed for such jobs. The sledge-type stretcher is soon manoeuvred into position and the work of rescue proceeds with all the precision that expert training brings. Under the watchful eye of the MO, the party starts off on the long and hazardous journey to base. It's grueling work calling for physical fitness, but it's well within the compass of these tough volunteers. The stretcher is designed for easy lowering and glides smoothly where possible. It's just part of the humanitarian services offered by Britain's Air Force, whose motto is safe fly. But it's good to know that when emergency arises, it has already been catered for. <laughs> 